Crazy Tube Circuit's Mother Load is a tribute to two beloved and highly recorded distortion fuzz pedals from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Rather than just offer the same old clones, Crazy Tube Circuit set about to cover new ground by making the tone stacks of each circuit shareable with one another. Up top is the Rat-inspired mode, known for its hard clipping and pushed mid-range, while its reverse taper filter knob handles high-end roll-off for smoothing out the tone. The Muff-inspired circuit has a naturally scooped sound and famous sustain that goes on for miles. The conventional tone stack on this circuit blends between fixed high and low passed filters. However, the mother load offers many more variations of Muff thanks to a voice knob which inserts a variable high pass filter that can enhance mid-range or help dial in super scoop sounds. The real magic happens when the Link EQ is engaged. Now the Rat and Muff circuits have access to an even wider range of voicings since all three EQ controls are adjustable and highly interactive. Like all crazy tube circuits, the mother load is made in Greece with great attention to detail and includes soft click relay based true bypass switching. For more information, check out crazytubecircuits.com. Let's start by checking out the rat circuit in its stock form and I'll show you how the tone really changes when you back off on the gain. It gets a lot brighter and open and when you increase the gain it gets a little bit more compressed and darker. So here's where that filter knob comes into play and remember it's a reverse taper. So that's the rat in a nutshell. It has a lot of mid range and it really gets a different uh, distortion quality when you increase the gain. So uh, I like to just uh, back off on the filter as I increase the gain because it does get darker. Now let's go over to the muff circuit again with uh, without linking the EQs just yet. Plus let's check out that extra voice control to change the mid range and really go through a lot of different muff variations. <laughs> So there you go, just one of the variations of the muff sounds you could get with the mother load. We could even get more scooped and back things off with that voice control. And I have to say, with this tone control, you could actually use the whole sweep. You could go all the way back with the tone and it's not very dark, it's just a nice sweet uh, singing sound, especially when you use it with single coils. <laughs>
And if that wasn't enough variation, you could link the tone control from the RAT to the muff circuit, or if you switch over to the RAT, you could link the muff circuit, including that mid-range voice control. So since we're already in the muff mode, let's engage the link EQ and see how that filter knob interacts with the other tone circuit. <laughs> So you probably noticed there's a huge range of tones and the filter knob when used with the muff circuit uh, doesn't really respond how you think. So it's really good to just explore the whole sweep of the filter uh, and try it with different voicings and tone settings on this muff circuit. Let's get back to the RAT and see how the muff tone circuit interacts with it. when you link the EQ, you immediately notice a, a boost of low mids, especially in that last setting. So let's try some different settings linking these EQs and try some humbuckers too. Thank you. 
uh, one of the things I kind of found by mistake is cranking up the tone of the muff and then actually increasing the filter of the rat all the way. And instead of getting dark like it usually does, it actually gets brighter. So let's check that one out. When using lower gain settings on the rat circuit, it kind of thins things out and it does get a lot brighter like I mentioned earlier. So here's where the Link EQ uh, comes in real handy. I'm going to increase the voice all the way to get extra mid-range and fatten things up. And I'm also going to back off on the tone of that big muff. <laughs> There you go, the mother load, all your favorite late 70s fuzz and distortion tones in one place and with some really unique approaches to the tone stacks. You can check it out at crazytubecircuits.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next Andy demo.